Hi. So today we will talk about a very special line and how it behaves with a circle. So let me draw a circle. Okay. Pretty much circle. Now let me mark this center. Let us call this O. Okay. And the line I'm going to draw is a very special one. So this this circle is consisting of many many points. So there's a point here, 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 here. There are infinitely many points. Now what if I draw a line such that it touches the circle? Okay, just that is that touches the circle at only one point. Okay. So if I can this is the point. This point. Okay. And a line just touches this point. So it touch it intersects the circle at only one point. That's how we say this. Okay. It goes something like this. This line. Okay. And a line which does this, which intersects the circle at only one point, is known as a tangent to a circle. This is known as a tangent. Fine. Now, first of all, your question is: uh, your question would be, how do we make this? Okay. So, given that point, how do we go about this? Well, the construction is a very clever construction, and then we use some properties uh, of tangents, how these theorems of tangents and a circle, and then we will do the constructions later on. But till now, that's what happens: a line touches the circle at one point is called a tangent. Now what I am going to draw is, I will connect this, the radius of the circle. Okay, so this is the center, and I draw line like this. All right, this is the radius. Call this, call this R. Now my question to you is, what is the measure of this angle? So first of all, how does it look? It kind of looks like a right triangle, right angle, ninety degrees. Now, this is your intuition. Your intuition is <laughs> correct. Okay, this it's it's this angle is ninety degrees. Can we show this? Yes, we can. How do we go about this? Now, see, if I draw another line, something like this. Now, don't notice this line is larger than this one by this extra amount. Okay, this amount. And if I draw another line. Like that, the line, is, the distance from this point to this line is still larger, and same is for for this side, for my left, for the left side. If I continue to draw these lines, the distance will keep on increasing. What does this tell? This tells us that the this line, this one, the first line which we draw, is the shortest. From the center to the tangent, and if you remember the theorem correctly, this line will be. That's right. This will be perpendicular. The shortest line is always perpendicular. Okay, so this angle, this will be perpendicular. And so we can say this angle is 90 degrees. Or in other words, the tangent makes an angle of 90 degree with the radius. So this angle is 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. They form a linear pair. The tangent is always perpendicular to the to the radius. That's the thing you should remember. Okay. Now, what we are interested in is tangents from a point. So, for example, you have a point here, and then you draw tangents. So let me do this. So I have a circle. Okay. Center B O, okay, and we draw tangents from a point. Let us call this point P. Now, how many tangents can we draw from P to the circle? One. We'll think about it again. There are actually two tangents. One which goes something like this, 
and other one which goes something like this so let me draw the it okay some intersects at this is a good very nice approximation okay now when people see the length of this tangent uh, they mean the distance from this point to the point right where it touches the circle okay that's not this length it can go on forever but this is, is the length of the tangent another tangent we can draw is the same thing downwards okay so yeah that's pretty good and then this can go on but we are interested in these these things these points all right and i connect the center to these points there you go and there you go this is what you get now what we i'm going to draw is i'm going to connect these two points the point and the center you will see why because if you draw these uh, two triangles will be formed and if we study two triangles carefully then we get we can prove a lot of results very useful results okay so we call these points a and b now what is this angle these are 90 degrees we just proved this the radius the tangent is perpendicular to the radius now let me tell you one thing if we show that these two triangles have some relation between them are they congruent similar okay then many theorems stem out of this so in one sense you need to only remember what these triangles are and then you can instantaneously prove many results within seconds like really so what are, uh, are these similar or congruent think about it yourself what is your intuition yes they are congruent they, if they look like congruent in this figure they, they actually are congruent so we can show this how let us see so these two triangle uh, angles are equal angle a is equal to angle b and this is equal to 90 degree tangent is perpendicular to the radius notice these two lengths oa and ob they are also equal they are the radii of the same circle so it is equal oa is equal to ob to r okay now this line if you notice this line op this is common in both of these triangles so it is equal to itself right so op is common now using this we can easily say that these two triangles are congruent by which criteria we have the right angle this one okay we have the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse okay it's a thing to uh, useful th thing to remember because uh, most students are you know usually draw right uh, right triangles like this so they tend to think this is the hypotenuse so this is not the hypotenuse okay this one is the hypotenuse the distance from the center to the point from which the tangents are drawn okay this is the hypotenuse and these sides the radius oa and ob 
So by RHS criteria, we can say that these two triangles will be congruent. Now, what else can we do? Think about it. if I say this angle is equal to let's call this theta. This angle will also be equal to theta, right? Corresponding parts. Now, what will this angle be? If you notice in this triangle, this angle will be 90 minus theta, 90 degree minus theta, because you can show this using angles and property of a triangle. 90 plus theta plus this angle should be equal to 180 degrees, which gives this angle as 90 minus theta. And since these two triangles are congruent, this angle will also be 90 minus theta. So this is where I leave you. Okay. That triangle AOP is congruent to triangle AOP BOP. Now, using this, using the fact that these two triangles are congruent, what can you make out of this? What is the relation between the lengths of these tangents, you know? Uh, what type of quadrilateral is this quadrilateral? Where does the center lie? And other things. Now that's a task for you. Till the time I upload the next video, think about what can you yourself prove using what you already know. So as always, thanks for watching.